Hello everyone, Warfire here. We're gonna play a new Hoppa game called Entwined the Perfect Murder. A bit of an older one. Um, yeah, not sure about the music. Maybe we should drag that up a bit. Music, are you there? Maybe. Maybe not. We'll see what happens. Uh, yeah. Uh, normal mode, hard mode, or detective mode. Normal mode, thank you. You want to see the tutorial that show how to play the game? Sure, why not? Alright. Detective John Scott is waiting for you outside the house. Click on him to start a conversation. Talk to John. Detective Robbins, I'm Detective John Scott, and I'll be assisting you in your investigation. Alright, cool. Thank you. Hello, Detective Scott. What do we have here? Is this... Is this Lonnie Minella? Lonnie Minnelli? Nancy Drew? Carla Robbins. Alright. A 56-year-old man named Adam Turner was shot dead in his garden this morning. I've prepared a brief case file for you. Please take a look. When you move your cursor over to the case file, it will change into a hand icon indicating that you can collect this item. I like that there are super big letters called case file on it. Or spelling out case file, I should say. Okay. Murder site is a residential place. Case summary. June 10, 2014. Mr. Adam Turner, a renowned lawyer and seasoned litigator, was found dead in the garden of his home. He was taking his morning tea at the time of the murder. The apparent cause of death is a single gunshot wound to the back. His recent cases include a high-profile case against a powerful mafia. Report prepared by Doc Detective John Scott. John. We have suspects here, apparently. As a summary, observations. Prime suspects. Uh, observations. Mr. Adam Turner, renowned lawyer. Renowned lawyer. Renowned. This looks like it says, actually. Dead. Murdered. Six suspects. Culprit. Reason. Maid wife, mafia, sister, paper boy, friend. Tasks. Talk to assistant so he can brief you about the case. All right. So we have first suspect is Tim Bradley, aged twenty. Uh, occupation: paper boy and part-time waiter. Relation to the victim: friend and neighbor. A young boy who comes to the house every morning to deliver the newspaper. He was seen fleeing the crime scene after neighbors heard the gunshot. Blood group: A plus. Criminal history check: uh, He is legal. I presume this means. Suspect number two: Lisa Brooks, aged sixty-three. Occupation: realtor. Relation to the victim's sister. She was very close to her brother, but relations deteriorated after Mr. Turner's marriage last year. Since then, she has left a family home to live across town. What? Blood group, oh, blood group O minus. And she's legal, or whatever. Suspect number three, Judy Turner. Occupation, housewife and socialite, age 29. Relation to the victim, wife. A young and attractive woman who married Mr. Adam Turner a year ago benefits from Mr. Turner's death because all his property goes to her. Blood group A+. Plus. She's also legal? Like, I, I don't know. None of them have a criminal history, I guess? Name, Philip Walter, age 56. Occupation, former government officer. Relation to the victim, friend and neighbor. A close friend of Mr. Adam Turner who lives nearby and visits the house quite often. His bad credit history and reported financial problems make him a suspect. Blood group A minus. Suspect number five. Name Maria Makarovna, age 25, occupation domestic worker, relation to the victim, housemaid. She's a full time housemaid who lives in her quarter inside the house. She does not have permanent citizenship or any previous employment records. Huh? Blood group B minus. She's red hair. And last suspect is Billy Kilbill Franco. Occupation, Mafia. Okay, here it actually says T, so he has theft on him. Age 42. Relation to the victim being prosecuted by Mr. Turner. Powerful figure in a notorious Mafia gang. Mr. Turner ha was fighting a case against him in court. He has been spotted in the vicinity in recent months. Blood group A+. Plus. Okay, is everyone A+. Plus? Oh no, I was like, no one's B. No, she's B. Wait a minute, no one is A, B. Everyone's like, majority is like A, and then we have some O. Some A, B. I can't remember where in the world different blood groups are most common. That annoys me right now. Cool. 
What's the case file? The paper boy, Tim, comes to deliver the newspaper every morning around the time Mr. Turner was apparently murdered. I have managed to get a hold of him. Look, detectives, I didn't do it, okay? I did come around in the morning like I always do, but I just threw the newspaper over the gate and went my way. A neighbor heard the gunshot and saw you bolting out of the house. So stop lying and tell us the truth. Okay, okay, I might have gone inside, then I heard a gunshot and I ran like hell. I didn't do it, believe me. If you keep lying to the police, you'll find yourself in deep trouble. Take him away. Well, this is definitely Nancy Drew voicing this. Or not, not Nancy Drew, but like, yeah. Alright, bring your cursor over the fountain. Okay, make your way to the garden, inspect the crime scene, and something, something. Bring your cursor over the fountain, and it will change to a magnifying glass, indicating that you can zoom in on this area. Can we lock inventory? Yes, thank you. These look like car keys. Click on them to pick them up. I would like that, too. Thank you. I wish I had a fountain like that in my house. A uh, hint, I think that is. No, wait, this is hint. What is this? Objectives, make your way to the garden. Okay, okay, okay. And we have the case file. Aha! My assistant, Detective John, brought the first suspect to me for questioning. His name is Tim Bradley, and he delivers newspaper to the house every morning. Presumably a newspaper, or newspapers, not just newspaper. He was seen running away after the gunshot was heard, and he even admitted to being inside the house. Detective, we should investigate the crime scene in the garden before going inside the house. I wasn't even trying to do that, but thanks. Pick the car keys from the inventory and drop them on the keyhole to open the car door. Why do people not have modern cars which don't need you to actually put the key in the car door? Oh no, okay, this is a really old car. Okay, never mind. Click on this button to open the car trunk. You'll find many useful items inside it. Those sparkles indicate that this area can be searched. Click on the sparkles to search the area for important items. I don't want to do that right now. I want to check out all this. The lock seems to be broken. I will need to find a way to open it. Two dials are missing from the compartment lock. Alright, sparkles, sparkles. You have peached... Oh, sorry, you have reached. Sorry. You have reached a hidden object level. You have to find all the items listed below to complete this level. Matryoshka doll. If you're unable to find an item, you can click on the hint button to get help. Hint recharges over time and can be used again. Matryoshka doll. Okay, a playing card. Ooh, ways of hearts. Pepper. And a baseball glove. Oh, you can actually skip hidden object scenes in this game? I'm not gonna do that, but... Thank you. For having that option because in some games you're just sitting there and just like I want to skip this but I can't and it's annoying keys um baseball gloves oh look a uh, blue crowbar and print I'm kind of looking for everything at the same time. <laughs> I don't know how well that's gonna go. Pepper, how do you find pepper? Oh, one of those. Okay. Hook, matchbox. That's a wallet, right? No oh, actually, we need the crowbar. Never mind. Could it be a matchbox? I don't know. Why, why do they have like a billiard ball in the exhaust pipe? What? Two things left. Okay, is this a matchbox? No. <clears throat> oh, it's up there. Well done, you found the following important items from this location. Two of them as well. Ooh-hoo-hoo. -hoo. 
I do like that. I love it when you can get more than one item out of a place. No. A part of the broken key is still stuck inside the lock. I will have to break it open. Oh. Hmm, interesting. This piece of cloth looks like it was torn off from the paper boy's shirt. This cloth matches with the paper boy's torn shirt. This means that the paper boy must have gone inside the garden. Oh. The lock on the gazebo door has the key broken inside it. Why would somebody lock the door and break the key on purpose? Okay, crowbar maybe. Yes. All right, gazebo. Detective, we should collect all the fingerprints from the crime scene before we touch anything. Good idea. I agree. Oh, there's a dead person here. Okay, wait. Oh, oh, here we go. Never mind. I'm just seeing to it that I know how long I've been recording for. Because I'm doing this game in full screen, but there's a non-full screen mode. Just was weird, I think. I don't know. Duster. I don't like recording games in full screen mode, but oh well. Alright, here we go. This is a special level where you need to collect all the fingerprints from the crime scene. Move the scanner on the screen and collect any fingerprints you find. Ooh, this is cool! I like it! There are two left. Okay. There's one. Shot there, all right. Some blood. Hmm. <laughs> Where's the last fingerprint? No. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, it was on there! Well done, you collect all the fingerprints from this location. Oops. Search the casino for any important clues about the crime. Apparently, Mr. Turner died from the gunshot wound on his back. A torn lottery ticket is still in the victim's hand. Uh... All right, I like this. Mi oh wait, uh, six thirty-five p.m. I have found lots of fingerprints from the crime scene. Hopefully, this will tell us who had been near the victim in his last minutes. I've sent it to the forensics. Mr. Turner has a single gunshot wound, wood. Sorry, a gunshot wood, on the back, not in the back, on top of the back. Location of the bullet wound and its angle is pretty important to determine how he was shot. Miss Turner is holding a torn piece of a lottery ticket. I wonder why he's holding it so tightly and how it was torn. I should be on the lookout for the second part of the ticket. Is there anything more I can do here? That. That. Oh. Tap to unlock. Click on the rings to rotate them. Align all the rings with the center by matching the colors. Okay. Puzzle. Oh no, you all move. Stop. Okay, you don't move. It's good to know. You don't- or I mean, it doesn't move any- any other ring. Lisa Brooks to Adam Turner. My dear brother, why won't you return my calls? I've been trying to discuss inheritance issues with you. So you're not going to talk to me now? I know you're busy with your wife as usual and no time for your sister. Maybe you will listen to me when I send you a legal notice. 
I want my share. I will not back down. Liza. Miss Liza, the victim's sister, wrote this confrontation on email to him recently. Could the property dispute... Something, something. The sister of the victim, Lisa Brooks, has sent an email to Mr. Turner about some property dispute. She is clearly emotional and somewhat threatening in her tone. I should discuss this when I interrogate her. Could the property dispute have led to the murder of Mr. Turner? Take that and that. Thank you. Whoa! Excuse <laughs> Okay, where did you come from? Detective, hello. I am Adam's sister, Lisa Brooks. How did this happen? I'm sorry for your loss, Miss Brooks. Were you in contact with Mr. Turner days before the murder? Oh, uh, yes. No, n not really. I, I haven't talked to him the last week, I think. Why were you taking him to court about the property dispute? What? No. I was only trying to persuade him. Ever since he brought home that trophy wife of his, all I hear is how much money he had squandered on her. Hmm, okay. There isn't any love lost between you two. I want you to have these pictures. This is Adam's wife with Adam's friend, Philip Walter. When I had finally gathered enough proof for their affair to convince Adam, someone murdered him. Talk to Mr. Walter and Judy Turner about their pictures. Yeah, okay, that does, that does look a little suspicious. Was the victim's wife really cheating on him? This raises serious questions about her motivation for the murder. I mean, I don't know how much this actually proves, but sure, it does look suspicious. It does. Sure. I agree. I have had a conversation with Mrs. Lisa Brooks, Mr. Turner's sister. They had a dispute regarding the inheritance of their property. She is not denying the dispute, and clearly she has some unsolved issues with Mrs. Judy Turner as well. Murder? Was Mr. Turner's wife really unfaithful? The picture seemed to confirm that she indeed had an affair with Phil Walter. Was Mr. Turner murdered because he find out, found out? And yeah, yeah, okay, he has the same. Okay, cool. Press times. Million dollar jackpot announcement. Lottery number 22556688899. Did a million dollar lottery announced today have anything to do with this murder? Oh yeah, but we don't know because we can't see the lottery ticket. The torn lottery ticket in the victim's hand starts with the same numbers that won the million dollar lottery today. Is it just a coincidence or was he murdered for the jackpot? I need to find the other piece of lottery ticket to find out. Alright. I think we can back out now. Uh, where's John- Whoop! Where's John Scott? Okay, I don't know why it had to sound like that. But that means we're almost done with this episode. Uh, where's John Scott? Okay, we can walk to the front door. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Someone spotted us from behind the curtain. I should be careful when I go inside. Find out who spied on you from behind the curtain. Yeah, with a weapon as well. Someone from inside the house saw me approaching the main door through the curtains and hid quickly before I could see the face. I have to be careful while I search the house. Try to open the statue that is situated near the front door. A strange statue to put in the front of the house. It also seems to be missing some parts. Something is stuck in the window pane. I can't get it to open. Ah. Whoops. Uh, apparently I clicked this. The suction pump is not usable without the batteries. Okay. Ah, but I only have two out of three. Interesting. Uh... Oh, wait a minute. Can we use clippers? No. Alright, we will have to continue in the next episode. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you.